Huh? Oh, hey, what's up, everyone? Just doing a little video here. That's what I do. I post videos on my channel. There's not really much else you can do with YouTube except upload videos. So here's a video for you, YouTubers. All right, so I'm going to basically go ahead and uh, t start talking. Uh, talk about uh, why Ghost is such a bad game. I think I figured it out. I think I figured it out. All right? So get ready. Sit down because, uh, I mean, this game's pretty bad. We all know that. I mean, it's called knowledge. I mean, uh, Jesus died on the cross, yeah, of course, and Ghost is bad. I mean, two things that are certain in this world. Um, just a bad game. Uh, as you can see, I purchased a camo on my uh, Vepper. I actually know the name of the gun. I remember all the names of the guns for some reason. Uh, from every Call of Duty game, I remember all the guns. It's it's not because I'm a nerd. I just, I just remember. I don't want to know, but it, I remember the names. Like the DP-28. Ah, anyway, anyway. We're talking about some ghosts, and not the spooky kind of ghosts that you see in your room at late at night. Uh, we're going to talk about the video game, which is a first-person shooter. Uh, well, you all know about it, but the reason why this game is so bad... Now, I thought it was the spawns. I thought it was the kill time. It, it, it is the kill time. It's way too fast. You just die instantly. Well, not right there. I just exploded um, for my own stupidity. But uh, the reason it's so bad is just because... Just look how depressing this game is. Who would want to play this? Look how gray and disgusting it looks. It looks horrible. Like, you're just going around killing people. It's so realistic, you know what I mean? Basically, you're just going on a murder spree with a gun. And it's like, wow, you know, that's really what I'm doing here. Um, I mean, of course, if it weren't humans or something, you could have this game about uh, fluffy bunnies... And, uh, you know, instead of, a, if, instead of humans, you could have fluffy bunnies, and you could be running around in marshmallow land, uh, shooting each other. But in here, it's just portrayed so realistically. It's, it's like real-life people, you know? Like, oh, jeez. And it's so gray and disgusting, because Call of Duty Advanced Warfare is pretty fake. You know, that's a great game. Don't deny it. Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Even if you don't play it and you don't want to like it, that's a good fucking game. Okay? But it's a little bit it's a little bit wacky, you know, there's some blue to it. Uh, this game, look at it. I just picked up the M9A1. P226 silenced. Has anything happened yet? I've been i I've been silent. I'm waiting for something to happen. Look at this crap! Is something gonna happen? Jesus, I mean, oh, there we go, I'm dead instantly! Look at that crap! I was running around for a minute, and then I just die instantly! Oh, better respawn and go protect B! No! No, this is not fun, it's a shit game. And that's the reason why. It's so boring, just compared to all the other Call of Duty games. Black Ops 2 is a lot of fun, too. Because there's cool kill streaks. You get a load star. You, oh my god, that shit's awesome! You just fire missiles and hit the green circles and kill the targets. But uh, you know, in this game, what am I doing here? I'm just I'm desperately trying to aim at this guy who's 50 feet away. Like that's real life. That's not fun. I mean, you got to do it, of course. I mean, it's horrible, but it's not fun. I want I don't want to do that in a video game. Control the recoil, and that's not a fun thing when you're doing it in real life. Uh, you know, and say, hey, this is really fun, you know, you, you, you're, it's a mechanical skill, uh, it's something you can improve at, but it's not fun, per se, unless you're really good at it, of course, but I'm not that great at this game. Uh, I did really well in this round for some reason. Not right now, not right now, but later on, I think I went like 28 and 5. Uh, so just something about this game is, well, obviously I just explained it, but uh, yeah, it's just a very depressing game. I just got killed randomly. Listen to the voices, too. Securing B! Securing B! Securing B! Just this guy yelling at me. What do you want, man? I mean, come on. I'm just... I'm just playing a video. Well, the guy's actually a good guy. They got the Ghost Squad voice man, this guy. He's a good guy. But the other guy's even more depressing. I wish I had footage on the other uh, team. What's the other team? Sentinel? I think it's Ghost, the good guys, and Sentinel, the bad guys. So we're playing as the good guys right now. But if you're the bad guys... Uh, you get the voice, the most depressing man I've ever heard. They actually went out of their way to find the most depressing voice ever. 
Uh, I'm going to show you a clip right now of the voice that you get on the enemy team. Enemy securing Bravo. Enemy has alpha. Kill confirmed. See secure. I mean, come on, I want to hear that. Who wants to hear that? I'd rather listen to Elmo. He's happy, you know. He's, he's a fun little dude. I don't want to hear this grumpy-ass army man shouting orders at me. So, it's just a very... It's too realistic. I think it's the problem. You know what? I think that's going to be... I'm going to sum it up. Ghost is too realistic. There you go. It's too realistic. I would never want to be in this shitty situation. In some fucking warehouse. Uh, it's freezing cold. Running around with a stupid little gun. You know. Probably boots are all wet. I mean, in this situation right now. Think of this crap. If this was real life. I'm controlling the recoil. My boots are all wet. My gloves aren't on right. You know, I'm having a freaking frustrating time trying to kill all these guys and uh, just be a nightmare in real life you know just this depressing warehouse with a train uh, fighting for survival where is an advanced warfare I mean shit man I could jump on top of the ceiling that's awesome I want to do that you could jump you could double jump in mid you, you could double jump on top of a moving bus and then grapple on the bottom and start swinging around you can't do that in real life and you could do all that in two seconds you can't do that in real life, which is pretty cool how, you know, the way they portray it. It's just something, it's like, wow, I've never experienced this before in a video game. This is really innovative, and that's how I, that's how I honestly feel about Advanced Warfare. It's really innovative. Like, have you ever done a double ba a bu double jump, back boost, and then snipe someone? Like, no, you've never done that. So Advanced Warfare is really the only game you can get to do that. But have, have you ever just, you know, uh, shot a gun with recoil at some dude? You know, in a video game. Just some shitty fucking warehouse with snow. This is the most depressing map, too. Couldn't have picked a better map for this uh, video. But, uh... It's just not fun. I wouldn't want to do this in real life. Advanced Warfare. If they made it, uh, Advanced Warfare paintball in real life with paintball guns, not real bullets. Oh, man. I, oh, man, I'm going to start that. I'm not, I'm not going to wait for it. I'm going to start it. But, uh... We're going to get the technology. We're going to build that. Um, but, I mean, this is pretty fun, you know... If this was paintball, just running around, but it's not. It's uh, just a depressing freaking game. Uh, these two guys screaming at you. There's no kindness. There's no humor. Is there any humor on the screen right now? Is there anything to make you say, like, ah, ha, 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 you know, etc.? I don't see anything. Battle hind. Oh, that's really uplifting and, and very, uh, very, very nice. Just a nice thing to hear. Battle hind. Ha, ah, beautiful, man. Marshmallows. Battle hind. Um... It's just a depressing fucking game, man. I mean, look at... This gun's pretty sweet, too. I actually... The recoil is insane, but I, I like that aspect. It makes it feel uh, like a real gun. Well, it just takes more skill, I guess, because you got the low recoil guns, and there's no effort. You know, you just see someone pop, pop, you know, they're dead. This one's a little bit more mechanical. Uh, you got to actually adjust your aim and crap pola. So... And now we got an IMS. Those things kill instantly. Oh, and another thing about this game. Look, look how long this match is going on for. This is the longest match ever! It's still going on! 160 to 88. I like when they have the halftime, you know? The halftime, you get to take a break, scratch your balls. But in this game, there's no halftime. And that really pisses me off. I really like the halftime. I didn't... It was introduced in uh, Black Ops 2, I believe. And it was, fr it was fantastic. It was fracking, freaking fantastic. Um, just to be able to... Just take a break, you know? Like, uh... You got a lot of points going on. And you don't want to die, of course, so you wait. Okay, you got 10 seconds left. Don't die, don't die. Timer counts down, bam, round's over. You're safe, you get to spawn in a safe spot. And you just get to take a break, you know? It's great. Like, wow, oh, man, I just went on this killing spree. Now I'm going to capture this A flag and get 200 more points and just get all these points! It's all about the points in Call of Duty. And, uh, you know, I just like, I just like the, uh, the, the, the mid-battle, uh, whatever you want to call it, halftime point. Just to take a break from the action, you know? Um, you need a little break from this, because this is going on for 10 minutes, and uh, you get bored really quick in this game. So 10 minutes is a little bit insane, especially when, you know, before, earlier in the video, I was running around for a minute without saying anything, and uh, died. So, I mean, that's a, what a waste of time. I would rather... Uh, I wouldn't want to do that for t 11 minutes straight in a domination match. I mean, I want to actually... Get a good kill streak. Have fun. I got a battle hind here. That's great. Did it get me any kills? I don't. I wasn't even watching. I don't even remember it. Did, did something happen when I called it in? 
Did I even get a kill with it? I don't even remember. If I had freaking gotten to Paladin in Advanced Warfare, I would have known. That would have been freaking awesome, the show. But I'm not sure if I got a kill with this thing or the, the IMS. I don't... I don't really care, man. This game is so bad. Good thing it's over, man. Uh, please share this to the Call of Duty people, because whoever was in charge of this game's uh, creative mint cycle development was a fucked up dude. He, he was probably really grumpy. I would imagine a really grumpy man played this game. Not a fun, laughing, happy dude, you know, who loves video games. This is more like just an angry man made this game. And just put all his frustrations into a video game. And, uh, well, that's it. You know, thanks for watching the video. This match was, uh, very long, and I don't even know. Did I do good? 24 and 8. That's, that's actually really good for ghosts. Not so much in other Call of Duty games, but for ghosts, that's amazing. Wow. That's probably the best I'll ever do.